Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to use exist and not exist logical operator in SQL Server. Let's open SSMS and take a look. Here, exist returns true if a subquery contain any rows. So that's uh, the definition kind of thing. And we will uh, prove that how it works. Exist is used when we want to test our existence of rows specified by a subquery. Now, let's create DBO customer table and country table and test our different scenarios. So I'm going to use the DBO customer as outer query uh, table and uh, I will be using DBO country for my sub query. So you see that I have a ID, first name, last name, country, short name and age columns in DBO customer. In our demo, we are going to concentrate uh, or emphasize our country short name all the time. So pay attention to that values. We have PK, US, null, CA values in this uh, column. Okay, let's create a DBO customer table. Now we are going to create a DBO country table that has a country ID, country name, and country short name. So you can see that we have Pakistan and PK is short. That's kind of matching here with the short name. Uh, country short name from the DBO customer table and then we have us that also does match you so we will be using as subquery so there would be some matching records now the very first uh, scenario or a uh, test case that uh, exists will return true if subquery contain any rows um, that's right if our subquery will return any rows we will use uh, and we have if and if we have used exist uh, the outer query is going to return us all the records so if you see here i'm using select asterisk from dbo customer table where and then i use exists uh, logical operator and here i'm saying select one so my uh, sub query is select one it did return me one record if i run the whole thing uh, we, uh, we will uh, get all the records uh, from uh, dbo customer table because uh, our sub query did return uh, the row that make exists uh, true now you see that we got uh, nine records uh, so there could be situations uh, where uh, you would um, let's say you want to return all the records from the outer query and uh, uh, there even there is no relation between them like you are not comparing a column to column value here but if uh, there is a condition saying oh if my subquery contain any record or it return me any record i would like to return all the records from my outer query though so, so there could be scenarios here the second uh, part uh, we can use exists and join with subquery that's more like a realistic uh, uh, approach uh, and I use uh, all the time in my scenarios and work in uh, 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 working in different companies writing my T-SQL queries so here the more real uh, time example of exist would be when we want to find all the records from DBO customer table uh, which has matching country short name from DBO country so that's uh, more uh, like a realistic uh, problem now how we would write that as uh, this is our outer query we are saying select asterisk from dbo customer so that's our outer query we can always run that query now then we will be saying where and say exists then we will have a small parenthesis here and then this is our sub query so that's how we will write our sub query you will say select one or you will say anything maybe you want to say nine or ten or because this is not going to return you eight or nine or even a country short name you are you don't really compare the values here so that just tells you if the record is returned but you will say anything here any column or even just one from the dbo country table so that's our uh, uh, table for the subquery there could be multiple tables you could have used joins or whatever uh, depends upon uh, your scenarios and difficulty but in my case I am using DBO country I gave the name to this one B and then I'm saying the a dot country short name so you see here where I'm saying a where a dot country short name is equal to B dot country short name so I'm this is my outer query and in our case we have dbo customer only here so we are saying a dot country short name so country name from dbo customer should be equal to the country uh, table uh, country short name 
value. So once it is equal or it, it, or it does exist, our inner query is going to return uh, one. So that's how our exist would know that, oh, okay, for this record, the value does exist. So it is going to return us the results from outer query. Now, this is more kind of, sometime it get tricky, like, oh, okay, how I run this query and test that. You cannot really run this query as a separate query. So you have to run the whole thing together. So debugging part kind of get a little hard, but it's still okay. Now, uh, you see that uh, we have uh, seen seven records. Uh, our DBO customer table has total of eight records. Uh, so you see here, we have total eight records. One is null and one is CA. And rest of that value is PK and US. So when we run that, uh, these two values, uh, null and CA, uh, are not returned from DBU customer table because uh, these country short name does not exist in a DBU uh, country table. So you see that here. That's why we get only the records where we have matching value in country short name. So you, this is our condition. Okay, uh, now let's move forward to the not exist in the same scenario. If we would like to get all the records from our outer query, which do not exist in our subquery result set or does not match there, so we can use not exist. So in this case, I'm saying, if my country short name from DBO customer does not match with the country short name from DBO country. So even my condition here is in very equal to, that's fine because I said not exist here. So I'm going to get everything from customer which does not exist. And this is my condition for matching. So let's go ahead and run it. And you see that we got the records of where country short name null and CA that does not exist in DBO country. Now, the you know, uh, we can go ahead and uh, write the same type of uh, query by using in clause, but there is uh, some uh, tricks here. So if you are using in clause, I don't really recommend writing um, in here when you have exist and not exist, that works better. Uh, I have noticed in my many scenarios. So anyways, but I'm just telling you the trick. If you need to write with the in class, you can write it. So you will say select asterisk from your table. That's our outer query. And you say the name of the column. So where the name of the column here, if you notice, we didn't even mention any name of the column. So we, if you want to write in class, you will be saying where the name of the column country short name. So coming from customer in and then you'll say select country short name from your DBU uh, country and then you will have where condition. So notice here we have uh, provided the name of a uh, uh, column that we would like to match with the outer query. So that's one thing you have to remember and it return the same records. But if you will write one here, let's say the way we were saying, oh, if the row does exist, we can use uh, exists or not exist here and we can provide anything. And if you do the same thing here, it's not going to work because you are saying where your outer column in. So you have to have the column name here. So if I run this one, you're going to get an error. And uh, here it doesn't really matter. Remember, even we said that uh, we can write anything. So let's say if I run this. So you see, I have written eight here. As long as the, the record does exist in the subquery result set and uh, you, you are gonna get the result from the outer query. But here, you see, we have written eight. Even I read said uh, Tech Brothers. IT. So it doesn't really matter whatever is uh, you have written in this select here, but only matter is if you have matching record uh, here from your table that does contain or your subquery does contain that uh, record. So it checks the existence of uh, the record uh, and doesn't really matter whatever you return here. Thanks very much for watching this video. I hope this video will help and I will see you guys in next video.